Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'll go with you go. Hello and welcome to this week's weekly <laughs> uh, Robert's getting himself ready, he's got an appointment with the hairdressers yeah. So this week's going to be a wee bit weird. weird and different So today is Sunday, I depart for Chester in a few hours uh, I have to know, about three, Two three hours. and a half hours, something like that, whatever it is, I don't know um, We're going to cut Robert's hair, I've got some stuff to do to get the car ready um, so we'll be vlogging today, the two of us. Yeah, bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. Um, and then... A more sooner than me. Um, there'll be a big gap in the week. And then I'll vlog at the end of the week. And then hopefully in a couple of weeks time you'll see this. Um, so if you haven't already, make sure to click the subscribe button. And uh, the notification bell so you know when all our videos are out. So what's the first thing on order today? Haircut. Haircut. We've already had breakfast, haven't we? Yeah. So, we're ready for a haircut now. So, you ready for the hairdressers? Yeah. Number one all over? No. Oh, yeah. Let's go get set up for the hairdresser. Leaving this place, the sun's about to break. You're riding shotgun. Feeling with chase, I'm wide awake. Take me away now. Bits even. I was just trying to get these bits here even. No, beside bits? Uh-huh. I can do that if you want. Uh -huh. They look alright actually. Well, just leave it. Yeah. Right. You can. Do it yourself. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Look in the camera. Not too bad. It's getting better. Oh, I'll leave it here. I'll fix that. That's what I'm saying. You're getting hair everywhere. We're at Chester Zoo and it um, is going to be a lot of fun. It's 25 degrees and the sunburn is probably going to be real. Um, we'll show you some clips of the animals. Um, it was chaos getting in, absolute chaos. Um, so that's why we're sitting on a random bench and uh, yes, um, get so wee bits of footage but it's quite busy today for some reason. It's a random Tuesday, don't know why. Hey -ho. Yes, going to look forward to the day. They just eat, the they eat like twigs and stuff like that, and like leaves. Everything they do, this can't keep going on. We're gonna find them, and I'm gonna find you. We better start hiding. We'll be running with the lions and lions. We're running with the lions and lions. Mountains 
for you Tell me cause I'm looking out for you This can be quite majestically actually oh, no. Cause you're not alone in this We'll do this together No, you're not alone in this No We're gonna find them And I'm gonna fight for you you scared, Jackson? We'll be running with the lions, lions <laughs> We'll be running with the lions, lions The red panda is up here somewhere They can't hide, we won't stop until they're down We'll be running with the lions, lions I wonder what kind these are. Yeah, people waiting down there. Uh-huh. It's not that loads. No. Edward's got loads of different kinds. <laughs> Excuse me. They are cool penguins though, let's face it. That one sh was showing off there. They keep on hurting, I'm gonna fight They better start hiding. Some nice footage of them swimming. I was coming late to see you. Oh, that's showing off that one. A new giraffe friend. What are we calling him? Jerry. Jerry the giraffe. Right. He's a belter. <laughs> He's a belter. <laughs> 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 You'll just have to wait a moment. You can stand on there if you want. Oh. 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 That elephant's come to sail on to us. I think it's my new friend. Look at that. Do you see the cute wee one? The tiny, oh. tiny wee one? Oh, look at that. Oh, that is, oh a cute. that is a cute one. Wonder how old it is. <laughs> that one's just thrown that all over itself. I'm gonna fight for you. This one's like trying to get all the hair down. Uh -huh. On there. Oh, 
that wee baby so cute. That's doing that thing with its leg too. Literally, it's as I was about to go for a lunchtime nap, but you know. Uh huh. Oh, yes. Random, random animal. Who knows who it is? Like a tiny elephant. Or even. <laughs> I think the zebra's uh, has enough too. It's far too long for them. The good news is, we're going for a dog whip. Right. That one there. <laughs> it's just like so this no that I know that see the one behind the pole? That's just like I've had enough of this. It's far too long. That one's just like Secrets for way too long. This can't keep going on. With every lie, they keep on hurting. <laughs> and I'm gonna fight for this you. This one here's just chilling. Oh yeah. <laughs> No, I turned the wheel on the phone. Oh my god. That's so cool. The baby one's really cute. <laughs> See if we can move around and get. Why would you do that? Hello, it's now Thursday. Um, so I'm home from Chester. Robert's away to Blackpool. Um, I have just been at the hairdressers to get my fringe cut. That's why it looks a bit different from usual, from it has done the last few days. All better now, and then I just get a wee bit off the ends just to trim them up nicely. Excuse the face, my skin isn't that great though now, as you can see. So, I'm not one to put any makeup on it. Um, just obviously to try and help clear it up. I'm um, just kind of sitting on the couch, it's a bit of an awkward angle, but you know, just sitting on the couch. Um, so, I'll 
I took some clips at chest. I didn't do it like an actual vlog. Obviously, I was there with my friend. I didn't want to do that. I um, don't want to make her uncomfortable because she doesn't really know much about that kind of thing. Obviously, she knows that I do it, but what I mean is, like, she's not really into the YouTubes and all of that sort of thing. Um, so, I'm not really sure what I'll do with the footage, but what I think I might do is later on, maybe tomorrow, um, when I've got time, I might sit down and, like, talk about my trip. And then set the clips and then obviously that kind of thing, I'm not sure. I've also, we went to the Cheshire Oaks designer outlets. So I want to show you stuff from that, which I'll do later. But just now I've got to unpack because I've still not done that. I want to get some washing out because it's actually really sunny here today. Um, I've just had some lunch. You can kind of see my plate in the background. Um, and then I've got things to put away. I've already been to Tesco to get shopping in for me because obviously... What we did was we just got some shopping in for Robert because he was here Sunday through Wednesday himself and then obviously I come home on Wednesday night and then he comes back on Sunday night. So I needed to go and get food for myself. Um, so I had an absolutely fantastic time in Chester. Uh, it really was amazing. 100% recommend going to the zoo. The outlets were amazing as well. Really, really enjoyed that. So... Um, later on what I'll do is I'll probably talk through that and then I'll be able to insert some clips but I need to go over the clips that I've got to see like you know what I'm going to talk about I suppose not really like planned but I'll talk about what I mean is things that I want to make sure I say about because obviously I'll get clips to show you guys because obviously I can't really remember um, uh, what else uh, that's about it really. Um, I'll probably make my dinner later, I'll show you that. Um, but I'm really, really pleased with my fringe. It's much better now. Um, it was just growing in all sorts of wonky. Like, not um, this fault, it was just the way my hair was growing. Um, my hairdresser thinks that I'm over straightening my fringe as well a wee bit. Which is probably true, I do straighten it quite a lot, quite bad like that. But just like it to sit nice. but. She says, just kind of watch what I'm doing because it might obviously affect my hair. Um, but I've been kind of playing with it, so it's probably not sitting the best. But never mind, I kind of do that. But at least you can see again because it was coming way down here. Like you can see before it was like down here, so you can see how much I've taken off just so it's a bit better. Um, but yeah, as I say, I'm going to try and not wear as much makeup because. My skin isn't that great. Try and hopefully clear that up a wee bit. Um, I am off work. I'm not back for another seven, ten days. I'd like to say. Um, so yeah, so you'll see me for the next few days. Um, if you haven't watched last week's video, obviously I shall leave a link down below. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm just about to review it because it's due to go up shortly in a few days time. It's going to sound really weird, but just the way that we film the video, so, um, like, today, I just come back yesterday, but for you guys, I'll have been back a week, I think, math, anyway, I've flipped on long enough, I am going to go and tidy up, um, because I managed to cause a riot in the less than 24 hours I've been in the house, um, I blame it on Robert, Till he sees this, and then he's like, it wasn't me, but you know. <laughs> anyway, I am going to go and um, uh, tidy up, get unpacked, and then I don't really know what else I'm going to do. Just chill, I'm quite tired, to be honest today, um, but I think it's just being away, out and about, <laughs> and that kind of thing. Um... And then I'll catch up on some videos and some comments and all that kind of jazzly, jazzly things. Yes, I'll talk to you later. Sometime later, it's kind of Saturday now. Sorry. <laughs> so, yes, I um, had a pyjama day really yesterday. Just been, I think, just being away and then obviously... I had any time off, just needed a pyjama day. So it's now Saturday morning, it's like half past um, eight, so I need to get going. I need to be down at my sister's for nine, 
um, which is like a 15 minute drive so I better get going. I've got a washing to hang out and I've got lots of things to do today but she needs some help with her new kitchen today. I don't know. Just get a text to say can you be here at 9 o'clock on the dot. So that's what I'm off to do. Um, and then I promise you I'll show you the stuff that I bought when I was away in Chester later on when I come back. Probably be back just after lunch um, and I'll talk to you about the zoo and do all of that good stuff as well. Um, I'll probably end this vlog tomorrow which will be Sunday so I'll do a few days and then on Monday Robert Holmes will probably start another weekly vlog then when the two of us are here. That is the grand plan and um, we've got another video to film that we want to film just like similar to what we did in the last video that we just done and if you haven't seen that we'll link it down below. Um, so yes, um, excuse me if you can hear the washing machine, I've just put another load on so that um, it's done when I get back. I'll be finished long before I get back but it's just tells so it'll be fine. Um, so yes, I best get moving and get this stuff out because I really need to go but you know I trouble going out of my bed this morning. I woke up at like four in the morning and then I couldn't go back to sleep so I put some time tracker on um, and just kind of listened to that and then I eventually fell back asleep. So yes, come back, get all the stuff done, show you guys everything. Yes, it's going to be a productive day today. So it is. Anyway, just admiring my fringe now. Well, hairdresser and myself are having a bit of a trouble getting it to sit and we don't know why so it's a bit of a process and now getting it to work but we don't know what's happened it's nothing she's done or anything like that. I think it's just my hair being a bit whack but yeah I don't know I don't know anyway it just looks a bit uneven but it's actually not once she like see when you do that it's actually not but for some reason it's just not sitting right and we don't know why but never mind, so I really need to bring some bits down here so it just doesn't look... That's a bit better, there we go. Yes, it's just a bit crazy, I don't know what's going on with it. Never mind. Anyway, um, haircuts, you know what it's like. Just, I always, when you get your hair done, it always a bit a few days later before it actually kind of settles in. Um, but never mind. Anyway, I'm going to go down help my sister. She says, um, to me, are you staying for this thing and I was like yeah that's fine I'm just planning snacks she says I was like oh that'd be great she says she don't know what the snacks are so god only knows what she's got but anyway I'm out here for the day sometime later we're back from our errands and our helping and the such uh, uh, it's just a riot I don't even know what to do with it anymore just seems to be all winky wonky right now and not sitting right I never actually straightened it in this one either which is probably causing a problem, but it just seems to be like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. It's just annoying me, because when you do that, it actually sits right, but it just seems to want to spring back up on one side. Anyway, enough about one's fringe. I want to show you what I got from uh, Chester Zoo. I've just propped these up um, on a windowsill just now to uh, make it easier, because obviously Robert's not here. So the first thing I got was, uh, I've got a velvetizer from Hotel Chocolat and um, it's quite expensive so they were doing a deal it was three for 22 pounds or something like that so that was actually really good so I got the salted caramel I got the one it's 45 percent nut milk but it's got a um, smooth roasted hazelnut hint in it so I thought I'd try that for something different um, and then I just got the regular, like, milky chocolate one, um, which was really good. But then we were at the, these were at the outlets at Cheshire Oak Outlet, so highly recommend the outlets. Um, some really good bargains. Then I got a, a wee Nike t-shirt. I love Nike stuff. So this is the t-shirt I got, and this was only eight pounds fifty. And it kind of reminded me of like a scene from like, I don't know, from like San Francisco or LA or somewhere out the west coast, I don't know. Um, so that was that. And then the big expense that I got was, da da da, I put the light on actually. That's 
a bit better is this Kipling rucksack. So it's got loads of different wee pockets. Pocket there, one there, one there, one at the front, and then space each side for your water bottle. Let me put it on and model it for you. Um, so here it's here. And it's got some really nice comfy thick straps as well. So that would be great for like theme parks and stuff we're allowed to go back. Um, and nice and light as well and you can fit plenty in it. Um, I actually got this and took it to the zoo with me. Um, which we had a wonderful time at the zoo. So I thought I'd talk more about the zoo. 100% would recommend Chester Zoo. Um, if you're able to go, go donate your money by obviously paying your entrance fee, go help them out because they're a great zoo and they're not getting a lot of help right now because they're such a major zoo that um, they don't qualify for any help that the, uh, the government and different people like that are giving them from what I believe. Um, but it's an absolutely fantastic day out. It is really a whole day out. The zoo is massive. Um, the first thing we seen I think was some rhinos. Um, what else did we see? There were fantastic time at the penguins um, as well and you can what you can do is you can see the penguins up top but then you can also queue and then you can see like the kind of like underwater area and stuff so obviously I'll insert some footage as I'm talking about it from what I can remember um, as well and then I'll maybe do a wee montage as well of um, like wee clips of different bits and bobs um, just because I think be nice to show you is the different animals and stuff that are there. The giraffes are really cool. You get a great vantage point of the giraffes and the elephants. We tried to see the lions, um, but they were sleeping. So I didn't get to see them, but we really did enjoy the giraffes and the elephants. Um, and that. and then um, we went to see the zebras, which is really good. The zebras at uh, Edinburgh Zoo are quite difficult to see because they're up like a big hill and they're quite far away and different stuff. Um, so sometimes you don't get to really actually see them, but you're quite up close for the zebras at uh, Chester Zoo. Um, and it was quite funny because one of them just quite clearly couldn't be bald with the day. It's just like, pfft, I've had enough of this day. It was 26 degrees when we went. So I could quite understand how they couldn't be bothered. Um, we've seen another rhino that just looked as though it was in the huff. But having watched a TV programme, and I realised that that rhino is just moody and stubborn. Um, apparently it's like that. Um, so, yeah, uh, they do actually have a TV programme as well called The Secret Life of the Zoo. And it's on Channel 4 or E4, one of those ones. Um, and I actually do watch that regularly. Um, but, yeah, having now came back and kind of thought about it, I happened to see that that rhino is really just moody and huffy and stubborn and just just as like ah, nah like a Kevin the teenager anyway what else did we see um it was pretty cool uh we seen a, a big huge otter like a giant otter it was rolling about like crazy um as though it was like a cat on catnip but um that was pretty good and um, we really enjoyed it we got doll whips we got all three doll whips um, so I'll insert some pictures of that because I don't have any footage of that. I do know that. So um, my favourite was the pineapple. Uh, my best friend Jilzy, she got the raspberry. And then I went back to get the raspberry for myself. Um, and the one that's like a twist. Like there's both the raspberry and the thing together. And then so she had some of the one with the twist and then decided she actually preferred the pineapple. Um, which was good. Um, but she didn't actually think she would like the pineapple. She was surprised by that. Um, so we were really pleased we got the Dole Whip, um, which was good. Um, we are definitely going to be returning to Jester Zoo because obviously uh, Robert never got. Um, so we'll do a proper Jester Zoo vlog at some point. Um, so that would be really good. We've already talked about that. Um, we've got some time up coming off and stuff like that and you can't really go anywhere right now. So um, that's the thing. We don't actually think we'll be getting to Disneyland Paris nor do we particularly want to go, like I know that sounds really bad because obviously we're annual pass holders and stuff like that but we don't really want to go in this current climate, it's too much the rates are too much on the rise, there's loads of local lockdowns going in the UK the restrictions and everything like that, I don't see the restrictions lifting so 
But I mean, obviously that's speculation, that's just my thoughts. Anyway, back to the zoo. Um, it was a fabulous day out. We found a nice few, loads of nice few bits to have, picnics and stuff like that. Um, I was telling my friend about how you could have a picnic in the, with the lions and stuff like that, and the old lion enclosure and things like that, but there wasn't a lot of space um, when we went down to that area. It was quite crowded and we didn't feel comfortable um, sitting there, so we found another bit, like a wee bit in, in the same area, but a wee bit further out and stuff like that um, to eat. Um, we just took our own stuff, we just took a packed lunch, we just went to Sainsbury's um, and just got like a meal deal. Um, obviously if we'd be coming straight from home, I don't know if we would have probably still but stopped somewhere and bought sandwiches just because obviously the drive down and stuff like that. But before we went, we just picked up like a Sainsbury's meal deal and a few snacks and stuff like that. Um, which I would highly recommend doing, particularly just now because it saves you queuing for food and also it's cheaper as well because obviously like food inside these kind of places is very expensive um, so it does save you a wee bit of money as well. Um, but yeah, what I'll do is I'll insert a wee montage of photos and um, things for you to enjoy. Um, I am going to go and get something to eat because it's actually now 5 o'clock. Um, I just had my phone go, so I'm hoping that's the football scores and my team has won. Because um, they were playing today. I actually didn't think that that game would go ahead today just due to the fact that apparently... Um, some of the other team, it was in the news, um, they were getting tested and stuff like that, so, but who knows, anyway, um, Saturday night, I'm going to go get some to eat, I might even pop over to the supermarket um, and get myself a wee treat for Saturday night, seeing as it's just me, um, and then Robert's home tomorrow night, so he will not be in the vlog tomorrow at all, because I don't think he leaves Blackpool till 5 o'clock or something like that, I don't know, I'll need to speak to him and find out, um, when he's home, um, but he'll definitely be in the vlog on Monday, so you'll get to see him on Monday and he can tell you all about his antics in Blackpool that probably won't involve very much apart from like going from one pub to the hotel and then to dinner, I can imagine that a bit of the excitement of it, but yes, um, that is about it, my f oh, I can't see, stop looking at my fringe, this bit just keeps wanting to bob up, because, uh, who knows? I'll get it sorted. Anyway, um, I'm going to go and do that. I've blabbered on for about 10 minutes now. Um, enjoy your montage of the zoo and the pictures. And I shall catch you all tomorrow, which is Sunday. They keep on hurting you. Getting away with everything they do. This can't keep going on. Oh, we're going to find them. And I'm going to find for you, they better start hiding. We'll be running with the lions, lions. We'll be running with the lions, lions. They can't run, they can't hide. We won't stop until they're down. We'll be running with the lions, lions. As you can see, I've had my shower and not really put any makeup on or dried my hair yet. I've got my Jack Skellington t-shirt on. I'm just in the comfies today. Just been tidying up the kitchen. I'm now, um, as you can see, YouTube on. I need to check over today's video that is up. Um, if you haven't checked that out, there'll be a link down below. Make sure you check that out. It's like a kind of Disney tag, couples tag, what we like, what we don't like at Disney, that kind of thing. So I need to go and check that out and then tweet links out about it and the such. Um, and um, I can't even also forgot the time and stuff like that. So I was like, oops, I forgot to do that. Sometimes time gets away with you. Um, I'm sitting at the computer desk, that's why I'm swinging the chair. I can't help myself. 
Um, I don't even know why I'm sitting at the computer desk. I just happened to sit here. Like the camera was sitting on the computer desk. I think that's why. Um, and yes, um, so I've kind of started the kitchen. I'm just about to put a dark wash on. It says it's about 17 degrees here today, but it's looking quite gloomy outside. Um, and I mean, there's not any dark clouds. It's just kind of deep and a bit gloomy, you know. So we'll do that, and then I'll tidy up the living room. I just wanted to be all nice and tidy for Robert coming home tonight so that obviously you know there's less work to do I suppose. Um yeah my skin actually does look that terrible. I don't know why it does. I think it's the mask wearing. I'm not sure. But I'm not at work. I don't know. So if anybody has any good products for clearing up the skin, wait and I'll see if I can brighten it up to see if there we go. See you can see like there, like this area here, uh, it's quite bad. So if anybody knows what's going on, that would be lovely. If any suggestions or anything like that for any products you use, that would be lovely. I don't really use a lot of products on my face or anything like that. I just use simple cleansing wipes. <laughs> bad. And occasionally a bit of moisturiser, but if anybody's got anything that they can let me know about, that would be lovely. So yeah, I'm just about to watch over that video. I haven't had breakfast yet, because um, I've been busy doing other things. But it's now like 20 past 10. Um, which isn't too bad for a Sunday morning, really. Um, but yes, I do need to push on. I want to get more of the spare room done. I actually probably should show you that, because it is a riot. I don't want you judging me on the, the spare room. But then again, probably everybody's got a room like that. It's like the junk drawer in your kitchen. Everybody's got a junk drawer in their kitchen. Um, but yeah, we're going to change that room. Um, I have to start looking for... I might actually get the laptop out later. I have to start looking for uh, sofa beds. Um, and my mum is going to buy us a sofa bed. Not just buy it. It's going to be a present like for Christmas and that. Um, she's not just going to randomly buy us a sofa bed. But as a present, like, she, she likes to get things that we'll obviously use and stuff like that. And obviously because we've got our own house, a lot of things we don't need or we can just buy ourselves, that kind of thing, like we're able to get. But, yeah, so I was like, oh, we could get us a sofa bed because we really want to do up the spare room. Like, they will not be painting it or anything like that or decorating it because we really like the paint and the wallpaper that's in it. Um, I haven't really shown you the spare room much because it's a riot. Um, but, yeah. This week's video is me waffling on quite a lot, I think, with a bit of animal montage footage thrown in. But yes, um, that's about it, yeah, for just now. I'm going to go and get something to eat, actually, um, before the camera falls, because uh, you're actually propped on a box of Kleenex tissues right now. Uh, a bit of behind the scenes. I needed to prop it up a wee bit, I couldn't be bothered moving. I've got wee spots around the house, I just sit the cameras so I can sit and talk. But... I've just got the YouTube on over there, so yeah, I'll go and I'll do that and I'll um, check back in with these later on. So yes, um, I've still not done the hair. Uh -huh, yeah. Not gonna lie, I had a nap. Not really done very much today. I'm not very motivated the last few days, I have to say. But I don't know, does anybody else get that? I suppose I'm on annual leave and I've had no leave from work. Um, this year, really. I think I had a few days off, like, January to use up the... Because my annual leave works like, um, kind of the tax year type situation. Like from, like, March, April time. Um, not the calendar year. So I probably had used up the last bit in January before we even knew about any of this Rona or anything like that. So, it is a wee while later. Can't say I've done very much. Um, but never mind, uh, Robert's texted me to say he is on the train on the way home. So I suppose I better run about and get some stuff done, like I've done something. Um, but then again, he's going to see this if he edits it. I could just edit it and then he'll never know. But then he's going to watch it back. Uh, oh well, sod it. <laughs> um, so yes, I am um, going to make some food, I think. So. I am going to try this um, 
Mediterranean roast veg. I'm going to try. <laughs> Look at this. It's frozen stuff. I usually use the fresh stuff. But it was like about a pound in Tesco. And I thought, you know, it's good to have in the like the the freezer just in case. And I thought, you know, I'll just try it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roast that off um, and then I'm gonna cook some pasta. And I'll just put it through the pasta. Um uh, and that'll be that. I'll just do that, I think. Um I don't know what else to do. Cause that's what I've got. So I'm gonna go and cook the pasta. I'll show you that in a wee second. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. I don't really know what else I'm doing. And my grand plan was to get this, while Robert was away, to get the spare room sorted, but I've barely done any of it. Um, I'm not gonna lie about it. But, my mum is nearly done helping um, with my sister at her new place, um, which has been ripped to the inside. Um, really has been ripped apart um, and hopefully she's going to come and help me with it because she's a bit ruthless um, and knowing me I'll end up looking through things and going oh I've not seen that for two years oh look at this oh teary me oh look at this that'd be me um, so yes I am going to go and uh, to that I'll show you the pasta in a minute um, and yeah that's about it I think not really much happening. I'm really sorry it's a bit boring this past week and um, no such thing as some animals for you. Um, but back to normal service soon and um, yeah it really will be. So let's see if that's Robert. Um, no it's not, it's my friend. <laughs> Thought it might be Robert, you could have some sort of quirky update. But he is on the phone, uh, the train because he phoned me to tell me and yeah, that's about it um, so yeah also I felt quite bad right so I don't know if anybody else thinks like this but I think like this so um, earlier on this morning first thing this morning I looked out and none of my neighbours had washing out and I had some bread that was going a bit stale so I thought I'll throw it out for the birds then the neighbours either side of me put washing out like maybe two hours later but the the birds had come to eat all the bread, so I felt quite bad. But luckily, I don't think any um, birds have destroyed their washing. But I do. I feel quite bad when that happens. I don't know if anybody else thinks like that. But then again, who knows? Who knows? Anyway, blabbering now. I just I always waffle, don't I? But never mind. Um, yes, I'm going to go and I'll be back in a minute with the pasta. So this is the end result. So I've got some roasted veg which seemed to shrink so much and I didn't even put it in for the full time. I've got some chicken and chorizo tortellini and I've done a tomato mascarpone creamy sauce. So this is it here. Um, I'm watching JJ Extra and their trip to, Ch to Chester Zoo which incidentally they were there at the same day as me and I've never even seen them but judging by the video we literally were in the same areas around the same time and it wasn't till afterwards that we discovered that we were there at the same time we honestly must have left about the same time etc etc and I cannot believe i never seen them um, yes it's a bit, a bit sad because I could have got to meet them but nevertheless um, so I'm going to go and eat this Robert's just a text to say it'll be home around 10 o'clock so I've left some pasta for him in case he wants something to eat because he says he's not down to eat. I'm going to go and continue on watching this video and I'll catch you later on. Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow. Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss cause I'll go with you.